Welcome. We are thrilled to have you here. If you enjoy our content, please hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, give us a thumbs up, and share this video with your friends. You pull out the key to open your house, you unlock the door and get inside. Then several hours later, you're looking for the key and wondering where it is. And you discover that you have left it behind on the door. Has this happened to you? To understand why it happens, let's flash back to Bluma Zigarnik, a Russian psychologist. One evening, Zigarnik and her friends went out for dinner to a restaurant. They had a lovely meal. Guess what the highlight was? It was the service. More specifically, their waiter. He had an amazing memory. So as everybody placed their orders, he remembered every little detail without writing anything down. He remembered who ordered what and how they wanted it. Zigarnik and her friends were all amazed by the waiter's memory. After the meal, they were driving back when Zigarnik discovered that she had left her jacket behind in the restaurant. So she turned around, drove back to the restaurant and sought out that friendly waiter who she knew would be happy to help her locate her jacket. Imagine her horror when she found the waiter, but the waiter didn't even recognize her. What happened? It got Zigarnik thinking, and her research then showed how our brain tends to work. When a task is completed, our brain hits the delete button, and our memory gets wiped clean. Our short-term memory struggles with space to retain information. So it keeps only the unfinished tasks alive. And the minute a task is completed, it hits the delete button. And that's why waiters at restaurants will remember every little detail of your order, but only until the bill is made. That's why when we photocopy a document, we pick up the copy and walk away, leaving the original behind. This has come to known as Zigarnik effect, a term that describes how our short-term memory deletes completed tasks. Fascinating, isn't it? The Zigarnik effect might explain why a bank's ATM, you are now required to pull your card out before collecting the cash. They know Zigarnik will be at play, and once you collect the cash, the task is finished and good chance you will forget to take your card back. It's something we can all put to good use. In serials, every episode ends tantalizingly with a surprise and with expectation of something coming in the next episode. Each episode ends at a point where you will say, wow, what happens next? You want to know, you want to come back. There is no closure at the end of that episode, and that's what brings us back all the time. If there is something you want to make sure remains alive, keep it just a bit unfinished. Writing a book? Make sure you end every writing session at a point of suspense or tension. Don't resolve it. Don't finish it. That will bring you back next day to be writing again. The Zigarnik effect might also explain my favorite piece of communication advice. It's this. Someone said that there are really two golden rules of communication. One, never tell everything at once. That's it. Ah, the Zigarnik effect. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment as well.